Alrighty guys, I am back. I have just downloaded, let's see here, the Nexus AOSP Gingerbread 2.3.4. It was released today by Foe123. Um, if you want to go ahead and head there, um, basically he made this ROM just as a, let's see here what he wrote, he, wrote. he said I want to see if I can build a ROM as close as to AOSP's project source. Um, he said we need, we desperately needed a close uh, a ROM close to pure AOSP for libraries for the future ROM ports based on the AOSP yada yada so he's kinda just making a base for us um, in case you don't know I've come across this in most AOSP ROMs they don't come with Google Apps so you're not gonna, ha you're not gonna have the market you're not gonna have uh, Gmail or anything but it's actually included right over here where it says latest Google Apps um, right there if you can just go ahead you can just go ahead and download that I downloaded the ROM already because it's the longest part of downloading. It only took like five minutes, but it's still pretty, pretty long just to watch the bar go forward. So, <coughs> excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and download. Uh, I hate this website. Okay, let's see here. I'm not gonna wait two minutes for this file. See who's fastest. Uh, pretty sure hot file doesn't make you wait forever. Yeah, 15 seconds. That's much better than two minutes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy. The, I actually downloaded the ROM already, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy the ROM to the phone. Um, open containing folder. Let's see here, what's it start with? Glacier, glacier. Here we go. Here it is. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and delete Uber Ginger Sense because I really don't need that anymore. Trash. Delete. So we're gonna go here and copy this over. Alrighty, that shouldn't take very long at all. Like I said before, since ROM, these ROMs can range from 50 to 100 megabytes. This one's 80, 81.7, which is a lot better than, than the 300, almost 400 megabyte file of a classic sensor ROM. So, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to. Oh, I can't read that. Use str o p t e. Click here to download. Save file. Alright, we're gonna have to copy both. What you wanna do with these is copy both of them to your copy the ROM and this Google Apps zip to your SD card root so just write in the SD card, don't have to put it in any folders or anything and I'll show you what to do from there, actually on the phone it's not very hard, it's actually really convenient and easy considering that it's um, that it, it's kind of weird to do but because we're used to ROMs coming with you know Google Apps and everything like that so I think everything's installed it, uh, don't have that installed I think everything's done copying. Yeah, it looks like it. So I'm going to go ahead and unmount. Alrighty. Alright, and now save to remove file system. So we're going to go ahead down with the phone over. Um, I just had it mounted in recovery mode for USB because I couldn't use the ROM to mount it. Thank goodness for recovery mode. Um, what we're going to do is do a full wipe. So wipe factory data reset. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. This always takes the longest time. So the instructions here say reboot to recovery, wipe data factory reset. Then I'm going to go ahead and wipe the system. So mounts and storage, format system, yes format. Sorry, yes format right there. Then I'm going to just install the zip after this is done. Alright.
Alrighty, now let's go back here, installs it from SD card, chooses it from SD card, and then let's go down Glacier AOSP 1.7.1.1.7. Yes, install. Again, this is the first time I'm using this, so it's, it's going to be an experience for both of us. So, this is the first time I'm, I'm actually using an AOSP ROM on the Glacier. So, here, let me clean the screen real quick. It's kind of bothering me that it's dirty. If you guys can help me out with this, in case anyone knows, just comment down below. Um, does anyone know for sure what kind of what kind of material is on the screen here? Because uh, I know in the Captivate I had Gorilla Glass on there, which is like, I guess it's Samsung. And the iPhone has their glass, so I forget what it's called. But for this, I read Orangutan Glass, and I'm not... Some people say Gorilla Glass, some people say Orangutan Glass, and some people just say it's plastic. So I know it's glass for sure but I'm just not so kind. so if you could just comment below saying what kind of glass is on the screen that'd be kind of cool of you, please. Alright, so the zip, the zip finished installing, so we're gonna go ahead and reboot. Now let's hope for a screen. Yes, that's a good sign, so that means the ROM uh, flashed successfully. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for this to boot up here. He says it could take two or three minutes to boot, so if you want to go ahead and fast forward in case you just want to see the ROM in progress and don't feel like listening to my amazing voice, then go ahead and do that. Alrighty. It's a nice boot animation. That's the classic Nexus. This is a Nexus ROM, so it's the Nexus boot screen right there. I remember back when I had my Touch Pro 2, my Tilt 2, um, this was the boot animation that showed when you started up originally, then they changed it to the Android, little Androids with, with jetpacks. But yeah, this is kind of cool to see when you're starting up your phone. Alright, the phone just vibrated, which means it's almost done. Alrighty, so here we are. We get taken right to the ROM. It's kind of convenient. Okay, what's it telling me here? It's checking the SD card for errors. Okay, so you can see here, or you can't see because of the focus, but I'll try my best. Alright, so here we go. We have the classic um, launcher. Um, that, that is an H up there with the signal bars. Um, I am on T-Mobile. I would really wish you could see this so much better, but oh well. Alright, so let's go here. Okay, we can see. That's one of the things I look for when I'm using a ROM is this smoothness of the going in and out of the menu. It's really smooth, so that that really makes the ROM feel nice. Um, scrolling is very smooth. Um, let's see here. We got the screen off animation, which is kind of cool to have. Again, that's the whole reason why a lot of people use gingerbread. So, okay, um, locking turn is really smooth. So yeah, this ROM is really light. Let's go ahead and get into the specifics. Let's open up messaging. We haven't opened this yet. So open up messaging here. Okay, that opens up pretty fast. Close it out. Let's open it again. Create a new message. Alright, so we got the gingerbread key. Oh, actually, I don't know what keyboard that is. It looks like the... It looks like Korean down there or something. Input method. Let's see here. We have all these. Alright, I would go with the Android keyboard. You can't really see the text that's on there. Yeah, there you can't see. Oh, here we go. Maybe a little bit. So, the top one's the Android keyboard. Not that big of a deal to change the keyboard. Alright, so there we go. Typing. Works well. I'm just typing random numbers and letters here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and close this. Um, let's see if any special multi attacking is installed. Nope, just the recent. Hold down the search button. We get this tap the search button we get that um that's actually really fast response there with the search that's really nice all right um see here we get the super user app installed which means it's already rooted speech recorder record speech i guess okay so this is the rom not this is rom before i actually installed the google apps because you guys are probably saying where's the market and where's the gmail and everything like that that's all stored in the google apps 
So what, what we're going to go ahead and do is reboot into recovery. Reboot, recovery. Alrighty, so we're gonna go down here, installs it from SD card, installs it from SD card. Then we're gonna go. It's, it's called G Apps hyphen G B hyphen two zero one one five zero three sign dot zip. Wanna go ahead and install that from the recovery menu? Installing Google Apps. Really easy, really simple. So reboot phone. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Okay, so you guys know how there's an optical trackpad down there at the bottom? It looks like... It looks like the camera picks up when it's on and off. It's kind of cool. What's not cool right now is that the, the screen's not showing. Which means, I don't know. So what I might have had to do is install the zip right... Oh wait, the phone just vibrated, so... I think it's still booting here. Now let's wait a little bit longer. So yeah, I think I was supposed to flash the Google Apps um, right after I flashed the ROM like not let the ROM compile whatsoever so I might have to go ahead and do that sorry I just think that's kinda cool I think it, I'm pretty sure it sees the the light alright so what we're gonna do is a uh, reboot here actually alright so this will be the, my video of this ROM not installing, installing Google Apps before I flash. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here and then you're going to check out go ahead and check out the video of me flashing it at the same time. So this is going to be an error video. Alrighty, so I'm signing out. See you guys in a few minutes.